tankers, happy pumpkin day! We're ready to present a themed Halloween episode of the vlog. Let's start with a traditional spooky minigame. Last year, we accompanied many of you on a dangerous journey to another world called Trick or Treat. This year, we would like to repeat this trip. The previous Trick or Treat event was a good one, but this year's rendition will be even better. The secret sauce is the prizes, an assortment of necessary and rare items in Tanky Online. There will be six checkpoints. Once you reach any of them, in addition to the small prizes received while completing the circle, you get even more rewards added to your account. Let's take a look at them. On the first checkpoint, you get the event participant paint. The second will give you 10 units of the nuclear energy supply, one additional protection module slot, and the jamming shot augment for hammer. The third checkpoint will give you the legacy skins for Smokey and Wasp, as well as the blunderbuss augment for Hammer. At the fourth, you will get the famous Crisis Drone and the brand new Pulsar augment for Hammer. But of course, the prizes for the final two checkpoints are what you're here for. Demonic skins for Hammer and Viking, as well as the Armadillo module. Instead of the so-called innocent and fun Halloween minigame you may be used to, we have prepared a hardcore speedrun, where you will have 27 days of the event to earn the energy required to reach the treasured demonic skins for Hammer and Viking. And oh, oh god, god how, how good, good they, they are. are. <laughs> Trick or Treat 2022 is that event you'll really want to complete, as you can only get these skins once a year. Unlike the previous minigame where you could play again and again, this time, we have limited the number of laps to 5, so bear that in mind. You can find the rules of the event on the main page. The link is in the description. We noticed that there's a hunger for themed event modes and festive activities, so... During the whole event for 10 days starting from October 28th until November 7th, you will have the opportunity to fully taste the atmosphere of a terrible witch coven. Equip the festive paint and head straight to the battlefield. There you will find festive billboards, Halloween rockets instead of gold boxes, suitable audio accompaniment, pumpkin drones and web-like drop zones. While you're still here, don't forget to boost your tank first, with a 30% discount in the shop only available this Friday, which will be replaced with the same discount in the garage on Saturday. You will definitely need to upgrade the novelties in your garage, so on Sunday you will be able to do it with a 30% discount and half price speed ups. Another thing to check before going to matchmaking is the mission screen. Enter it to get two festive sets of missions that will give you stars for the challenge and ultra containers. The latter might give you the first treat for your bag, the Firebird and Wasp demonic skins. Those who got these skins last year can knock on any door and get any candies they want, as they are already super cool. If you don't have the skins yet, try your luck. If it is not on your side, don't get upset. You can also replenish your stock with containers from special offers. This time there are four. The Daily Tank Coins Pass, Energy of Darkness, Skull and Bones and Radioactive Mucus. Choose the one that suits you the best, and then there will be nothing left stopping you from going to the event modes. The zombie mode is available till Monday morning. The only survivor is a juggernaut super tank with powerful weapon parameters, left to fend off the horde of zombies equipped with a claw that can effortlessly break through any armor, even that of the toughest tank in the game. Only rockets carrying gold boxes can distract them. The next weekend will be remembered for the mode with demonic wasp and firebird with a customized map, sinister skins, rockets carrying gold boxes, and spooky competitive spirit. The mode will be available just for three days, from November 4th to November 6th. It's finally time for the long-awaited Winter Major 2022 tournament. Our esports players have come a long way during the last three months. They've played more than 100 matches to earn rating points, and get a place in the main tournament of the season. There's plenty at stake, 
a real cash prize totaling 380,000 Russian rubles, which is about 6,000 euros, unique prize paints, and modules with 20% to 30% protection against everything. The winning team will receive 200,000 Russian rubles, hundreds of containers, thousands of tank coins, and millions of crystals. The top 24 teams will compete against each other in three stages. Challenger Stage The 16 lowest-rated teams out of the total 24 will take part in this stage. The best 8 have already received a place in the next stage. Legend Stage the Legend stage consists of the 8 highest-rated teams who bypass the Challenger stage, as well as the 8 best teams from the Challenger stage. These 16 teams will compete for a spot in the final matches. Champion stage Only the 8 best teams remain, competing for the grand prize. Anyone who has seen at least one Grand Finals livestream before knows that you definitely shouldn't miss it. Don't miss the live streams of our eSports matches on our Twitch channels. Root for your favorite teams, watch interesting matches, and get yourself some cool rewards. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest, our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by players. In this first video, Taspens gives a review of the top 10 special events in Tanky Online. If you love holiday celebrations, then this video might be for you. Check it out. So number 8 spot's gonna go to the Tankers Day event. Now this event is in early September, and for me, I really enjoy this event because the theme golds just look really simple and nice. Now hopefully Tanky with the new HD golds don't just completely remove theme golds and events because those really are a huge part of events in Tanky. Overall, this event is really simple, the gold design is awesome, it's really fun in certain maps, and that's what's gonna get the number 8 spot. And while you're at it, check out Jumper doing some super cool things with his overdrive. If you're looking to rake in some kills, there's lots of great tips in this video. Quick reminder, if you want your video to be featured in the next episode of the vlog, submit your entries to the YouTuber wannabe form, which can be found in the video's description. Maybe you will surprise us with one of your videos. Last time, you had to guess how many flips the Hornet Railgun would do in the air. The correct answer is 4. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. That's all for this week. But you cannot even imagine how many events and updates we have prepared before the end of the year. Don't forget to spend time in Tanky this weekend enjoying the event. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you've been waiting for this Friday. See you in a week. Bye.